we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright channel today is something super extra special and because you click on this video and you saw the thumbnail you know what I'm talking about yes today we are making a wedding dress I am so over the moon I'm so extremely excited for this one and I'm so proud I just want to say that I am not professional and this is maybe the third time that I made my own pattern so if you are one of these people who are a little bit interested in a process of that there will be a little part at the beginning uh, but if you want to skip I will put the timestamp in the description box and you can go ahead to the sewing part if you are one of these people who are planning to have a ceremony I don't know on the meadow or maybe in a forest I think this dress is a perfect alternative for you guys so I hope you will like it if you do give it like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, let's go ahead and if you like the dress that I'm wearing right now and you are interested on how I made this go ahead click on this link and watch the video personally I use this thin tape I will link it below in the description box uh, usually I get it on Amazon and it's not very expensive so if you need it uh, there will be link below and then I simply draw the design on the mannequin with the help of this tape I will do exactly what I want don't pay attention to this side this is another project that is waiting for you Today we are focusing on this side. So as you can see, I did the bodice. This is a waistband and we have a waist belt here and back of the dress. And the next thing that I do is to take a piece of fabric, lay it on the mannequin and slowly work on it and see where I can adjust it, where it needs to be pinned. I take this piece because I already have done it before. First of all, important to put the grain line straight. So first I will pin it here in the center so it doesn't move. And then I try to lay the fabric nice and flat. For example, around the armholes, when there is a lot of tension on the fabric, I will do a little cut. This will relax the fabric and it will lay nicer on the, on the surface. And for example, here, there is no escape. There will need to be a dart. So I will pinch the fabric and then I will go ahead and use water-soluble pencil. And uh, I think you cannot see it on camera, but in, uh, in person, I can see these red lines uh, that I made with the tape uh, peeking through the fabric. This is very important. If you choose a fabric that is too uh, have too high opacity, you will not be able to see these lines, but not elastic fabric. And you will draw the lines and then you will draw the dart. Everything that needs to be drawn, you will go piece by piece like this. And you will see here, you have one pattern piece done you will transfer it to the paper and voila you have your pattern piece so as a first first thing to do uh, i have to sew all the darts on all the four pattern pieces as you remember one is shell one is lining so first dart so now that this is done we will go ahead and attach the back piece to the front piece uh, you just have to be careful that you will not do some mistake so of course right sides facing and we will attach it over here with this side seam and also 
course, bir şey olursunuz. We have two pieces right sides facing. We are going to take a strap first thing, okay? We turn it back and I have a mark here where I supposed to pin it just like that. Then I will kind of like hide it inside just to be sure that when I will be sewing two layers, nothing will go in between. We are going to take these other pieces. This is going to be lining. We will turn them wrong side out like that and then we will insert this piece inside the other one we will match the shoulder seam first because this is one of the most important things to match and i will continue pinning all this way so we are sewing all this way around okay Guys, you saw me that I was adding this little ribbon while I was sewing and uh, I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure if it's going to work and how it's going to look like but the main purpose is to prevent the seams from stretching out I didn't have anything else uh, so I thought of this method and uh, I think it worked out so if you would ever be in a situation like this you can try uh, this kind of technique and so the next thing that I will do so as usual guys I will go ahead and sew, sew the seam allowance to the lining side so look at this guys now it looks so beautiful the lining will stay on this side it will not be turning out and we have nice and clean edge and what is more it will not stretch out it will stay like this I'm really happy about it so far so now that we have this out of the way uh, maybe I will just do a basting stitch over here down so I can kind of like connect these two layers on the bottom and now we will need to sew I will need to sew a waist belt so here and here on the sides so this is the uh, this is the lining part and the shell part has interfacing on uh, just to give it more structure so I will take one bodice, one part of the bodice, place it like this, this is the down part, you can see here is the front, here is the back. I will take uh, the part with the interfacing, so this is a better way I think how to show you. Um, what is important here is to mark this center point, right side facing and we will place it so that it finish here exactly where this point red dot is we will we'll pin it all the way now i will take the other part of the waist belt not interfaced and i will place it on the top of it like a sandwich making sure that these points are matching over here just like this and my trick is to take out the pin that is under and pin it like this match it take out the pin and pin it from the top hold it take the pin pin it okay so now we have all these layers we have three layers two layers of um, waist belt waistband and one of the bodice pieces just like this and I will sew from this point until here and then we will do the second part the same way how we did this one okay so now it's sewn and I don't want you to miss out on this satisfaction first I will have to trim the seam allowance because it's so many layers and it's too bulky but before we do this I have to let you see this magic of sewing so 
So here you go guys. This was the most tedious part of uh, this project. Now we just need to attach sleeves and the skirt and we will be done. And the zipper. Zipper, don't forget about the zipper. And for the skirt guys, I just used the uh, circle skirt calculator on the internet. I will put a link down below. Uh, I think many of you already know this. Uh, so I calculated by using this and uh, I choose to uh, make quarter circle skirt. Uh, I didn't want it to have too much fullness, uh, so that's it. I have quite big sleeves, so you know, there needs to be a balance. So what I will do now with this skirt is overlock the edges, the side, side of the skirt and uh, then we can attach it to the bodice. Straight stitch, one centimeter seam allowance. Now we have this huge gigantic sleeve that I used in my other patterns as well. You can go ahead and check out another videos that I already made. Uh, so as always just uh, make sure that you know which one which side of the sleeve is a back and which are, which is supposed to go to the front you know this is an old drill i'm sure you already know this pin and sew a straight line and then uh, overlock the hem or use a zigzag stitch if you don't have overlock now that my sleeves are done i will go ahead and put a two rows of a basting stitch from this point until this one so this is how it looks like the gathering will be over here but before we attach the sleeve we can go to the bottom of the sleeve fold it twice just like that and form the tunnel for the elastic later on just keep a gap don't forget so you can insert your elastic of course I think that I have already mentioned this before in one of my video, but I think this is one of the best advice that I can give you that I wasn't doing when I was beginning, which doesn't, when I was beginning to sew, which now when I look back, it doesn't make any sense. And it is, for example, when you do things like this, when you are attaching invisible zipper, which is kind of technically not the easiest thing to do so when you are beginner you know you will be struggling a lot maybe maybe not but i was never used to uh, do a basting stitch like this i was just putting pins and trying to sew it like that but you know when you are sewing with, and you have a lot of pins it's kind of annoying under the sewing machine and you are trying to get as close as you can to the zipper foot if you want your invisible zipper to be invisible. So my biggest advice is do this basting stitch. You will sew this, uh, the invisible zipper so much better and with so much less of a stress. Trust me, it will be so much more enjoyable experience for you. So it sounds maybe stupid and sounds maybe like duh, but I wasn't doing it and when I started it completely changed the experience of it. 
so this is my advice okay guys the zipper is sewn but one important adjustment that i'm going to do i realize that the skirt is just too transparent and nobody wants to see my underwear on the wedding so uh, what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, put a lining on the skirt which is simply just another skirt just a little bit shorter so the same thing like with this one but instead of sewing it here I will sew it on this part of the of the lining right sides facing over here all the way and sew a straight stitch I just folded the top of the dress inside and this is the band as you can see that's supposed to be attached like this but because we are putting lining we will not attach it I just find the center of it okay here then I have a center of this lining skirt and I will attach it in the same way just like I did for the top layer of the dress so exactly the same thing so I guess I don't have to repeat this it looks so complicated now but it's not guys it's really not it's just this is the sewing this is how it looks like most of the time it confuses you by how it looks like but it's easy the same thing like with the skirt while the shell of the skirt we attach to the waistband with the interfacing and this skirt which is a lining we are attaching to the lining piece of the waistband okay that simple Exactly the same thing, just attached to different parts of the waist belt. Voila, and now straight stitch and uh, one centimeter seam allowance. So now that it's sewn, I will show you another trick. Imagine this is a pretty side of the dress with everything that you are going to see on the top. This is under the dress. Everything is turned to wrong side. And simply, this is the waist, the middle of the waist belt you see here. We just take it like this and match it together. Be careful here that these seams are nicely aligning because it will show outside and it will not look nice. So just make sure they are you are lining them up. Just pin it first here. just cut little bit of these edges because it's too much here and it will be just bulky and annoying so what what we did now is a trick of how to finish also the inside so that it looks nice and professional because this is what we are here guys we are professionals here I will take me some tool to help me to push it. So you see you will have zipper and you will have it nicely closed from inside. This pasting stick, don't think about it, I will remove it after. So let's do the other corner. Yay! And uh, I think I will put some kind of hook here maybe. We'll see if it will be needed or not. Uh, so we will need to close the skirt, the top of the skirt and the lining separately of course right sides facing down the stitch straight stitch and it will be done
at the end I decided to cover zipper at the back with a simple flap uh, which was just a small part of the back waistband with the loops for the buttons. I thought it will be looking better this way and also it will add a nice detail as the dress is quite simple. I sewn few fabric covered buttons in the front as well for more details and finally hemmed the dress. But before hemming it was very important to let it hang on mannequin or on the hanger at least for 24 hours. As the circled skirts are cut on bias and fabric usually stretch out, then I folded the fabric inward 2 cm, so as close to the edge as possible, reduce all the seam allowance, fold once again and voila, you have clean and thin hem. When we wake birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the cricket, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right 